one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I got here for you today is the exterior review of this beautiful 2006 Dodge Magnum. It's a Hemi Magnum. Not only is it a Hemi Magnum, it's a Hemi RT Magnum. And I don't know if it's an SRT Magnum or an RT. I don't know how to tell the difference. Um, you can check the eBay ad. Anything on there that helps you figure that out will help you figure that out. It's got SRT wheels. It says RT on the back. It's got the Hemi. Boomity boom. I don't know what it is. It's a beautiful car. It's probably has something to do with suspension. I don't think that's factory. It's got nice wheels on it. Um, I believe, no, not believe, they're marked SRT. It's had the exhaust toyed with quite a bit. What are these? There's a 245-45ZR20 on them. And they're Pirelli. Not only are they Pirelli, look at this. They're stinking so new. They got titties on the side. They got more tread than you ever know what to do with. I'm sure you could take care of that if you wanted to and just burn it all off. Because this thing can pull the bark off a tree. It's mean. It's nice. It's clean. If you're interested, you can call me 406 546 8748. Name's Nathan. I'm going to do an exterior review. So let's go and look at the front of this thing. Boomity boom. It's got some kind of grill and there's little chips everywhere. You could easily, I was going to spray that down. It would match no problem. But I didn't do that. Um, there's little scuffs and scrapes along the bottom. Like they all get on this. Cracks in the stuff. Crack in that. And it's kind of off just a tad right there. Um, and you can see this and right along here. It's actually tied right there with a zip. And so yeah, you could end up replacing that at some point, but it's in good shape. It's where it should be. And it's on here. It's not flapping around, flipping, going down the road but it is a potential issue for you that I want to tell you about. So scuffs, miscellaneous cracks in that piece. Other than that, I'm gonna show you one more piece on it. It's faded. These pieces take a lot of hell on these cars when you put that nose cone and stuff. Boom! I don't know what he did. Were you thinking? Maybe you could buff it out a bit, but it's been sprayed with something, kind of goobery gobbery. Other than that, the whole hood looks nice. I might find a little that's not even a chip, that's like beeswax on it. Um, beautiful car. Little things like that. A lot of it to buff out. Nice, clean car. Going down the sides, clean as can be. Look at these wheels. It's beautiful. It's missing this piece. I think it's some water. I just washed it. But it's missing this piece here. You can see a little scuff where he probably took that off. It's not all dented up. Man, to be black especially. This thing is straight as can be, as you can see. Going down the sides, and I'll come back at it. Tiny ding right there. I love when I find a tiny ding. And I like to go over these and show just anything that I can show that might be wrong with them because you're buying it from a long ways away. And the roof oh, looks good. There's a tiny ding right there. It's a little chip. Roof all looks good. No real fade spots or nothing. Ding right there. Hard to see any of these dings I'm talking about, but they're there, so I like to show them. Um, glass all good and everything. Man, these wheels. Now they've all been, it's got a little dink right there. It's all been kind of ground a little bit. Where they might have went against the curb like that. And you could have them fixed, but hey, I'm sure you or the old lady will do that again. and. Next thing you know, you'll be getting them resurfaced again. Nice set of pipes. They've drug a little bit going up something. That thing's in good shape. It's got a nice exhaust system on it. California car. Oh, I'm thinking about driving it up to Montana. But I just need to sell it. Maybe a tiny ding right there. I don't know. Uh, I've got lots of cars on my site. It's oneownercarguy.com. Let's see what that is. A little scratch right there. A little bit of dust on that. And that's pretty much what there is to talk about. Not even hardly any dings to talk about on this thing. I'm gonna come back down this side and show it. There's some finger marks, you know, from getting your fingers in there and stuff. Fingernails scraping on it. Scrape here from your foot hitting it and stuff, I think. Scrape on the bottom. All the wheels basically have that kind of damage. Um, you know what? They don't. It's just like got a silver lip on it. You might have a little bit of curbage, like there. 
Um, I just don't see much. These lights can be resanded. You know how they do it with the drill. You can get the kit at Walmart for about ten dollars. It is a beautiful car. It's in great shape. It runs and drives good. Uh, I've already done the interior review where I show all the options working and all that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it around. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Because I've been wanting to get pictures of these things a totally different way. Than what I've been doing. In other words, I take pictures of one side and then I take pictures of the other. Oh, excuse me. And then I do my video. I take off and I leave. Well, you know, that's all well and good. Except I really think from now on, I'd like to do what I'm doing right now and turn this thing around. I used to do it. Turn it around and take some pictures the other way and show you to where you know that, hey, it's not exactly always dark on one side or what have you. Beautiful car. I'll walk around again and I'll shut this off, take a few pictures and such. God, that was an awful parking job, wasn't it? So what I'll do is shut this off, park my car better, take some pictures, and then get back with you. Look at that beautiful car. And my shadow's just all through it. It's the wrong time of day, wrong spot to do exactly what I want to do. I'm in a hurry. Look at the tread on these tires. Just amazing. Okay, talk to you in a minute. Oh, it's got this. Super flash or something. I don't know what the tint is on it, why it's like that. Like I say, beautiful car. I'm going to show you down the side of it. Uh, there's this little area here. Right here. So it's kind of got a little something he rubbed it up against. And it looks like it's on that too. But honestly, that could be rubbed off, I'll bet. Um, I did not. Oh, there we go, yeah. That's rubbing down pretty good. I didn't use chrome trim stuff or nothing. And it's coming off basically with my nail. But it's just old. Um, so I don't know what that is on it, but it is the way it is. A couple small chips, like right there. A little scuff there. and That's a little discolored, that piece right there. Just a little, uh, you know what? Same thing, you know, and you could just take the time and go over it. And I knew that. I just haven't done much to it. The car is super clean to begin with, and I just didn't do much to it. But look at how it looks in this other light. It's just beautiful. Um, you can get a better look at the grill in this light and see what I mean about little rock chip type things. Get a better look at that too. Nothing too bad on it. It's a very clean car. It runs and drives great. I showed the interior in the other. Hear me! I showed the interior in the other video. And I definitely showed the under the hood. But I'm gonna put nowhere on the pedals. Just clean as can be. Put the doors open and closed nice. This is a classic. And not only that, it's a classic that can be a daily driver. Look at this bad boy. The seat of the night a lot better. But super clean. Okay, let's go for a ride. There's a little spot on that mirror too. And this one is the same way. Look at that, my nail just... That's why my nails are always dirty. I'm always cleaning everything with it. Okay, your door is ajar. Okay, I bumped my camera, so I wanted to shut it down and shut it back on because sometimes it gets blurry. Tells you what direction you're going, what the temperature is, and all that good kind of pertinent information. Maybe I just want to hear it start again. Nice cold AC, which we're going to, oh man, turn off. And roll these windows down a bit. This thing steers so nicely. It drives so nicely. Shifts smoothly. There's not a complaint I've got about this car. I'm not a Chevy Ford Dodge guy, meaning I like them all. I don't have a, ooh, only this one, really. Great spot to U-turn, lady. Oh, 
Okay, we're gonna go for a little test drive here. And, oh my. Do it to it. It is traffic time of the day. That's for sure. speeding here or nothing, we're going to slow down and put it into it. Not so low that you can't do that. Now, I've driven lots of lowered cars. And sometimes they're just so low that you can't gun them around a the corner. I hate that. This car is not like that. This car is very gunnable <laughs> around any corner, it seems. Um, I got my, get my seatbelt on. There we go. There's no specific warning lights or nothing. It even tells you what station it's on. All that good stuff. You got your navigation and stuff. You got the slapstick. You can go down, down, down. Got a little indicator there. So I mean, if you wanted to start off in first, you could. We will. So that's manually. <laughs> it's a nice car. I'm gonna turn around just so where you can see it again down the road. We weren't ready. Yes, because I wanted to do this again. Now we're in drive now. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go in front of him either. I'm gonna wait. Safety first. Safety first. Holy smokes! How many people did I wait for though? We could have easily been in front of them. So just from a dead stop here. Ain't nobody coming. In between the whack when it's shifting. Oh, buddy! Whack! Sound like a mad little three year old or something. This thing is bad. If you're looking for a magnum of any kind, give me a call. I'll make you a deal. Um, I don't know a whole lot about them. I wish I could tell you more of what exactly it was. And, oh, it's just, 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 just. But I've got all the pertinent information. You can call me up 406 546 8748. I'm gonna shut this off for a second because my battery is getting hot. There we go. Uh, do me good to get back to the place. Uh oh. Dodge 300 coming. It don't matter. He's a six cylinder. Oh man, I'm telling you. This thing is all there. I got my AC on. It feels nice. Nice day. Nice AC. It's nice. Now it rides a little different than it's going to factory, but. It's still got all its charm there. It's got a nice, sporty feeling to the steer. Right there is a little bit of uh, kind of just a way the between the mufflers and the way it rides. See, I'm not afraid to hit that bridge and have it bottom out, even though it's low. Um, unless you're hitting a really good bump or pothole. It's not that. It's not that kind of car, man. So that's that. We've got a good walk around of it. I'm gonna hop in here and say goodbye. I wanna just peel out, man, I'm telling you. Okay, I've got all kinds of cars for sale. If there's anything you're interested in, I can usually get it for you at auction. I got old stuff, I got new stuff. I got all kinds of stuff. This one's even got the Navigation DVD. Don't know what's up with that Super Flash or whatever it is, because it ain't got it on that window probably made them take it off. Don't know if that's legal. You may have to take it off. You'll have to check with your state. Mustang 5.0 Fox body. Woo, buddy. That's a nice one, too. 61,000 miles. Okay, that's your car. That's your review. Hope you enjoyed. If you're looking for a sweet 
Magnum, this is the one. And anything else you're looking for, I've got all kinds of stuff. I got three more lots just like this with all kinds of cars on them. In fact, there's another Mustang right back there. And I got a 01 Mustang at my dad's place I just dropped off. Got a Corvette up at the other office. So, lots of stuff. Thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Call me if you're interested in this. 406-546-8748. You can call me absolutely anytime. My name's Nathan. Thanks for watching. We'll call, we'll call you. We'll talk to you. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. One owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. And what I've got here for you today is the interior review of this beautiful 06 Dodge Magnum RT. Hemi, it's a bad car. I've been driving it around a bit and it is definitely peppy, fun. It's had exhaust done. It's had some different struts or lowering type thing done to it. It's got SRT wheels on it. And I don't think they came on this car, but I'm not exactly sure. I think they're from a different car. I think they're 20s. Got a nice set of Pirelli tires. It's just a great little car. Gets looks everywhere. Everybody looks at this little RT. It's a nice car. And man, they're pretty much fully depreciated. These cars ain't gonna go much lower. You just open a nice RT and sit on it and take care of it. They're not gonna be going down in value. They're gonna be going up. You ain't finding them. They didn't make them very long. And there is a big fan base for them. They're cold classics. That's all there is to say about it. I'm gonna get right into showing you the interior, right into showing you under the hood because I'm here to tell you this new time change and the new way that everything is is really hard for me to get in the evening like this by like 5 o'clock, 5.15. It's just not possible to get. I mean, it's 4.39 and it's pretty much dark. I'm going to put this around my neck here. You don't have to excuse me. Actually, let's do this first before it's entirely too dark. There's not much to see under here because... It's all kinds of plastic shields and stuff. But it's clean underneath, clean under the hood, clean on the inside, clean on the outside. It's a clean car. Did I say it's a clean car? I think I did. Hit me! Look at this. Just insanely clean. One or two owner got to check my records on it. Check the eBay ad. I'll have it all in there. The right way and all that. I actually just got these things done. And was getting pictured. 5.7 liter. Beautiful car. Even the hood insulation and everything's all good. That's the deal. There's all kinds of pictures on my website, oneownercarguy.com. Check that out. And that's that. I'm gonna show you the inside before it gets too dark. The exterior video was yesterday, so you can see all that. Let's see. Oh, that looks nice. Perfect timing. I'm gonna turn my flashlight on actually, where you can see some other stuff in a different light, shall we say. Hang on one sec. Boom. Come on, really? Give me an ad, there we go. Carpet's in great shape. No pedal wear or anything, door panels are just Absolutely beautiful. Dash is in great shape. Check out the dashes on all these Dodges. They're sometimes not in such great uh, shape. Center console. This one's got all the right options. Leather, lumbar, power, this, power that. Yeah, it's got them all. Sunroof. And that just reminded me. I didn't do the sunroof in the other car that I was videoing. So I'll make sure and do it in this one. Look at these wheels. They've been ground around the thing a little bit, but they still look great. It's nice to have this 12 volt, how that, 12 volt power packages or whatever in different places nowadays. It all lays down. I'm gonna actually maybe just lay it down. Back seat's just beautiful. Door panels just nice as can be. Seats and everything are great. Let's get this. Some more pictures. Uh, books and stuff are here. 
However, this one is starting to fall apart at the binding. It's pretty much all there from what I can see. Uh, carpet. Look at this. This car is as nice as it gets. Let me do this for you. Forward, backward, up in the front, down in the front, up in the back, down in the back, decline back, recline up, and those are manual up there. So that works. Dash is beautiful. Door panels are beautiful. Got your original disc in there. Boston premium sound. Showed you under the hood. So I'm gonna look at them wheels, man. I'm telling you. And they do say SRT. I think they're from like a 10, 11. I don't know. I don't know what they're from. Don't get me talking. There's a Dodge fan out there that knows a lot more than me. I'm not the man to know that. There we go. Okay. Let's show you back here now again. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna actually take a picture too. Yeah, cool stuff. Just definitely got a little handle here. Very easy to close and open. It's just a nice, clean car. Okay, so that is your interior. I'm gonna get inside and show you any more options that I didn't show you, including this time the sunroof. I just did a 560 SEC. Totally forgot to do the sunroof. Okay, that's that. Nathan, 406, 546, 8748. Wish me any time. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Subscribe. I do daily videos. They actually um, just changed the oil right before they traded it in. Okay. It's got the keyless entry. Alarm. It's got the rear. Wiper that works. Front wipers work. Lights work. Horn works. This here, the radio is fine. Um, you have to get past all this stuff for destination nation entry. And I don't know. There, boom. You can get the navigation and all that. Heated seats. Ashtrays, clean this thing don't smell to ever. I don't know what the deal with this is. They trim the, they trim the um, window tent to look like that. And there is none on that side. Auto down for the fronts. Auto up as well. See my hand? Backs. No auto down, but they work just fine. Seats are just nice as can be. Um, all right, so center. It goes back on its own accord. And forward, like so. Wow, for change. People don't even use change anymore. Um, well, the front one opens. Oh, wow. Entertainment for the, oh, wow. I didn't even know that was there. I'm about to take a picture. So I stopped it, took a picture, and actually, when I just got back here like this, I figured, you know what? I better turn this back on and show you guys this, where you can see it. It's got all the, you could plug a PlayStation in there, I think, pretty much anything you wanted. That is pretty cool. Didn't even know it was there. It won't be if I slam it like that again. Drink holders. So you got lots of lots of space for stuff here, for sure. Kind okay, of cool. Didn't even notice that. Maybe I don't want to sell this now. Okay. Shows your radio stuff up there. Um, your trip mileage, weather, uh, where you're going. It's got this kind of way. It's got tilt and telescopic, so you can put that thing right where you want it. And it's there. Okay. Time to get going. Now, I don't have a plate on the car. So you're gonna have to watch the day video, which I have not done yet. It's cool.
quick. And not only that, it's loud. It has some exhaust done to it, to say the least. All right, that is how this car runs, how this car looks, how this car is. That was the cover for the navigation that's sitting over there. God, this thing's mean. Mean, just mean. Forevermore mean. I've never got to really get on it like that. Okay, well, that is the drive around interior video. Uh, make sure and check out the exterior. There'll be a longer test drive on that because I will have my plate on it that was taken off for detailing and such. Um, I'm gonna get out and give you a goodbye. And I'm gonna actually film the sunroof in that one that I just remembered while I was doing this. God, I just love the color and the way the car looks, especially in the evening. It just looks mean, 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 mean. Okay, thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com, call me up if you've got any questions. 406-546-8748 can reach me anytime and what's that i had a guy call me at two o'clock in the morning yesterday he's got it yelling at me i said dude call back at a reasonable hour man i you said you could call anytime well use your head thanks for watching we'll talk to you